Meanwhile, also in Group B, Morocco booked their spot in the knockouts with a 2-0 win against Comoros. Uh, thanks to an early goal fired by Salim Amala and a second slotted in by Zakaria Aboukal in the 89th minute. Though the Atlas Lions will be far from happy with that performance after wasting several opportunities, including a missed penalty by Youssef N. Nesri. That's how football is. Anyone can miss a penalty. We missed a lot of chances. I hope that we won't miss these kinds of chances in front of the goal next time. I promise the fans that we will come back stronger and get the results. We won't make these kinds of mistakes again. So, Simon, maximum points for Morocco so far, but they'll be wanting to shape up ahead of facing bigger teams in the knockouts after some rather sloppy chances in front of goal this evening. You're absolutely correct. Uh, the feeling we get with this uh, Moroccan team is that they're not playing to their full potential. It's very laboured. It's uh, quite slow. It could be a lot uh, more fluidity uh, going through their play. It could be a lot quicker. And it's just not the case. Now, it must be said in Enesiri's defence, in Munir's defence, these are players who had COVID at the start of the competition and who are just returning to the team because Enesiri, the Sevilla striker, should, of course, be starting every game for the Atlas uh, Lions uh, later later in the competition. Uh, in terms of Morocco's uh, play overall, well, they scored early, as you mentioned, but after that, they really struggled. In the second half, however, you saw uh, the impact of Aid Halilodzic's speech at the interval because Morocco came out with some different intentions, uh, but they were frustrated by Comoros Island's uh, goalkeeper and man of the match, Salim bin Boina, who was simply sensational with some fantastic saves, a double save on the line, and of course, that penalty save, Salim. And so so uh, it was half down to the Comoros Islands uh, star player in goal and half down to their own uh, poor finishing. But what is for sure is that you fear for Morocco when they play against the bigger nations on the continent that if they don't take their chances, then they will be heading out of the competition. Simon Harding for us there in the capital. We'll be back to you uh, later on in the show.